today in music history. Hey, we're back. And today we're going to talk about Weezer. Let's get started. The year is 1992. We're in Los Angeles and Weezer with the now famous nerdy twinged rocker Rivers Cuomo leading the way have their first few practices. And before long, they find themselves on stage opening for Keanu Reeves band Dog Star. Now that's weird. Shortly thereafter, the boys sign a record deal and are swooped into Electric Lady Studios in New York with X-Cars frontman Rick Ocasek producing their debut record. Weezer, now widely known as The Blue Album, is released in May 1994. It spawns three singles, The Sweater Song, Buddy Holly, and Say It Ain't So. The record was certified triple platinum How's that for a debut? But we're just getting started. The band's second album, Pinkerton, was plagued by poor initial sales due to legal wrangles and its dark sound. Reviews of the record were mixed. Some dubbed it the worst record of the year. Ouch. The next couple of years that follow see band members come and go, solo projects, side bands, and Rivers Cuomo locking himself in completely black rooms, battling depression. Was Weezer done? Not even close. With the 1990s clearly in the rear view, the band embarks on a full-fledged headlining gig on the now famous Warped Tour. Creativity blossomed and the band recorded a bunch of new material for their next release simply titled Weezer. Yes, just like the debut record, only this time with a bright green cover. Two singles surface and a new legion of fans listening to Hash Pipe and the unforgettable anthem, Islands in the Sun, join the Weezer Army. Wait, we've got a lot to get to. Let's pick this thing up a bit. Their next album, Maladroit, was a hodgepodge of material. There was a falling out with the record label, lawsuits, and mixed reviews. In May 2005, Make Believe is released. The single Beverly Hills hits number one. The Red Album is released in June 2008 and produced three new singles. And the band picks up a Grammy. Ratitude is released in 2009. There's a bus crash, a canceled tour, and a change of record label. And yes, there's still more. Between 2010 and 2013, Weezer releases a compilation of re-recorded songs and a third volume of Rivers Cuomo's solo material. Then they re-release Pinkerton. They also lose former bassist Mikey Welsh to an apparent drug overdose. And that brings us to today. With the band's 10th studio album, Everything Will Be Alright in the End, Weezer drifts back to where it all began as the world waits for the next Weezer moment in music history. That's all we've got time for today. Join us again for the next Today in Music History. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and watch another video too. See you next time on Today in Music History.